Hello everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3! We are on part 52 now, so we are on the same number as the number of cars that are in a playing deck. <laughs> kind of interesting, eh? But I believe we left off where we were going to cut hitch a ride on this birdie cage. So let's see if we talk to this Mr. Saturn. I don't know if we did that already because I haven't recorded, recorded in such a while. Flying birdie cage done. Alright. Let's ride it. You ride flying by the cage? Uh, yes, sure. Uh, I don't see any other option. I don't see any other way we're gonna get out of here unless we teleport or something like Ness does in Earthbound. So we just hold on to this rope then? Hold it! Hey! It's the rope snake! Ha! Huh. You guys really think that cheap rope will last you all the way to Taz Viley with you hanging on it? Oh, come on! I'm much more useful than that silly rope. Have some faith in me. I may have dislocated my jaw last time, but I still got plenty left in me. Just give me one more chance. Just one more chance. Uh, I don't trust you, Rope Snake. It was by a huge stroke of luck that we was, that we were able to survive that fall off Thunder Tower, and you totally failed on on us there. So I don't trust you, Rope Snake. Uh, ever since what happened, I've I've, I've been tumbling up my jaw by crunching walnut shells day after day after day. Yeah, and I had to stuff inside the shells too, of course. Duh. Now I'm practically like a walnut cracking jaw with a snake attached. You are a nutcracker. <laughs> you should like perform in a ballet or something. I'm really su it's really super strong. Please let me try just one more time. Nope, not gonna happen, rope snake. There's just no getting through to you, huh? I don't look at the snake I was up until yesterday. If I had to compare myself to something, I'd say I'm like a cornered lion. I'm a snake, but also a lion. A snake lion? <laughs> yeah, right. You don't even look like a lion. You don't even have a mane. You can learn a few lessons on mane building like, from Simba, I think. Or maybe even Mufasa or Scar or something. But no, I'm more like a roulette wheel. Make a bet. Uh, I am not a gambler. To be honest, I think I trust the rope that's hanging onto that birdcage more than the rope snake. <laughs> I guess that roulette wheel comparison wasn't so hot. But if anything, I'm a pair of dice. <laughs> You don't look anything like a pair of dice. Come on. <laughs> Come on, I'm being serious here. I, 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 I don't want to be, end up, wind up being a big fat worm instead of a snake. Come on, you are totally a worm. Come on, you gotta understand how I feel. Let me be all the snake I could be. Please, I'm begging you. See, I even have my hands clasped together. You don't even have hands. Uh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. I think no matter what you answer for that last question, the rope snake will, sneak, will say the same thing. So it's like this game wants you to have the rope snake with you no matter what. <laughs> it's one of those things you just can't get out of. That's what I'm talking about. I knew I could expect great things from you. Lucas, this looks to be a, man a manly journey through the skies. <laughs> Taking that lesson from Flint, eh? Here it goes, do something, boing. <laughs> Mr. Saturn, you totally have it right. Let's give this a second shot. What do you say, Rope Snake? Come on! Use that Rope Snake, Duster! Go! And here we get the Skyrunner music again. <laughs> the Skyrunner music is appearing so often in this game. We first saw it when we were leaving Snowcap Mountain, and now we see it after we while we're leaving Saturn Valley. Look, we're even flying above the clouds, just like the Skyrunner does. Come on, Rope Snake, you could do it! You could do it! You could do it! Hold on! Hold on with your life! Come on, Rope Snake! Rope Snake! Rope Snake! Rope Snake! Rope Snake! Come on! Come on! You could do it! Come on, don't fall, don't fall! Ah, what? Rope Snake! Hey! Well... Let's see, Lucas fell in the water, Kumatora, I mean, Rai have fell in the water, calling her Kumatora. And Duster and Sirius fell in the water, look at that tiny splash the rope snake make. Rope, the rope snake made. Uh, see, I told you we shouldn't have trusted the rope snake. What do we tell you? What do we tell you, eh? You bet on me, but it seems you lost, huh? I didn't even want to bet in the first place. Yep, I fell. As did you after you bet on me. Well, at least we all didn't land in different places like last time. We all landed together, thankfully. I think that for a while I'm gonna act like a fat worm and hide myself inside a hole. So don't talk to me. The heroic and cool rope snake he once knew was dead. I had a tiny quiet voice I say, uh, so long. Well, that was kind of a dumb way to get out of Saturn Valley. What do you think? What is this, an arrow? Let's talk to the arrow. Whoa, it's a crab! It's a crab! It's not an arrow lizard, it's an arrow crab! I am a not very rare imitation crab, like the kind you find in sandwiches and in sushi and that sort of thing. 
Real crabs try to copy our taste, color, and texture, but we just look the other way. We, what can't be overlooked, though, was Tane Tane Island south of here. You're headed there, too, right? I pretty much knew before I even saw you. You can wait all you want, but no ship's gonna come. You gotta walk across the ocean? <laughs> what, like Jesus, we gotta walk on the water? First, talk to the sea. Get up real nice and close, and then everything will start from there. Yeah, that is totally how we're gonna- we, The next thing we have to do in this game is we have to cross the ocean, and in order to do that, we live- We don't have to swim across the ocean. We don't even walk on top of the water. No, we walk under the water. UNDER the water, of all things! Does that make any sense? Look, we have this pig sitting on this lawn chair. What, is, what does it have to say? Wink, wink. The words Oscar and Mayer appear to me in a dream, but I don't know what they mean. <laughs> Oscar and Mayer. I think that's like a brand of hot dog or something. So that pig is dreaming about being eat being made into a hot dog and eaten. <laughs> that's what it sounds like to me. That's just funny. Look, there's Bronson getting his tan. I think if you talk to him, it'll actually let you rest, so you can recover so you can recover your HP and PP and that sort of thing. We have shoes here. Shoes that belong to a pig mask, of course. But yes, I guess the only thing we can really do now is do what that crab says and dive under the water. We are headed to Tane Tane Island next. Tane Tane, which means seeds. Literally means seeds in Japanese. So we're going to the Island of Seeds. CD Island. <laughs> Let's go to CD Island, and we'll get there by walking under the water. Let's go! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Look at this place! Isn't it beautiful? I'd like to be... Under the sea, in an octopus's garden, in the shade. <laughs> that pretty much sums up this underwater scene right here. I tell you, Shika Sato Itoi puts a lot of Beatles references into these Mother Series games, and this is like one example of it, the Beatles song Octopus Garden. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oxygen supply complete. What oxygen supply? Do you mean that merman thing? Oh dear. Time to head for Tane Tane Island. Look, that thing over there is called a Navy Squeal. Look at that. Instead of Navy Seal, it's a Navy Squeal because it's a pig mask. That is just so funny. Whew. I know these supplies with oxygen, but these machines aren't just aren't my thing. They're really demoralizing. No kidding, right? In order to fill up your oxygen there, you have to kiss one of those merman things. That's seriously how you refill your oxygen underwater. Is this game weird or what? Really? I like them a lot. I, I think they, they take a little bit of getting used to, I guess, but hey, I really like them too. It's a really ingenious way to refill your oxygen rather than just talking to like a plain tank or whatever. But yes. You see that blue bar that's on the left side of the screen right there? It indicates how much oxygen we have left, and... Basically, when our oxygen runs out, we won't die. That's kind of counterintuitive. We don't die when we run out of oxygen. We just return to the surface, where Bronson is. So, it's like we have a time limit, and if you run out of oxygen, you just return to the surface. I know it's kind of intuitive, but that's just the way it works, all right? We just kind of have to have a suspension of disbelief here. So, the way we refill our oxygen is by talking to these merman things. May I have some oxygen, please? Ah, the kiss is us. <laughs> you get a kiss from a merman to refill oxygen. Is that embarrassing or what? And look what happens here. Look, everybody's blushing. <laughs> that is just funny. If they had a photo album thing in Mother 3... Yeah, here's one thing that happens in Earthbound is periodically this picture guy will... will come jumping down on some part of the map and he'll take a picture of everybody. And, the, and this... And the, by the end of the game, you collect this album of pictures that'll get shown at the end. Unfortunately, this does not happen in this game, but it'll be pretty cool if it could happen. But, okay, here's a new enemy. This is another pig mask, and it's a navy squeal. Now, as far as trivia cards go, I've practiced these trivia cards on these pig masks before, and the only trivia card that these navy squeals know the answer to is trivia card 2. But we already got the answer to that from that pig mask in front of the Clayman factory, I believe, so I don't think we even need to use the trivia cards anymore. Now, most pig masks are weak against PK Freeze, but these, since they are underwater, they happen to be weak against Thunder. I think every enemy in this part, in this area, is weak against Thunder. There is one exception, but I'll get to that when I get to that. So I'm gonna use PK Thunder Alpha, and it is not weak against Sleep, it's weak against Numbness. So, I don't think any thief tools will work against this thing, since Duster has no thief tools that can numb enemies. Yeah, I'll just have you two attack. Ah. 
Why can I, why can I not combo to this music, toppling march? Okay, that wasn't too bad. That Navy Squeal doesn't have a lot of HP, I guess. Maybe I don't even need to use PK Thunder against these. Okay. Oh, look, okay, we have an Oyster. Ah, can't talk to the Oyster. Instead, we have to fight another Navy Squeal. Alright, Duster, you got to level 40. Is there an Oxygen Machine over here? I think there is. I'm pretty sure there is. Yeah, right over here. be a map somewhere around here? I thought there was a map somewhere in this area, but apparently I missed it, or... I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna wing it for a while on this map thing, and... I think there was a map maybe at the very beginning of this area, and I missed it. Oh well, I'm just gonna go as far as I can go, and maybe see if we can get a map. There's a present here. It's not a map, but... No, it's a magic tart. I guess that's always helpful. Okay, here we have more new enemies. This thing... Well, these things are carefree jellyfish. A wild tentacool appeared! <laughs> okay, they're not exactly tentacools, because I don't think they're poisonous. Now these, like any other water enemy, will be weak against thunder. But, I don't know what these tools work against these, but these things are so weak, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, they're gonna coil around, okay. Oh, this is M. Get El Mariachi. Oh no, the Carefree Jellyfish used a tentacle attack! It used tentacle rape! Oh no! And it used it on Lucas, of all things! That, 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 those jellyfish are pedophiles! Well, I don't know if I should even be saying pedophile. I said Lucas was, what, 13? So I guess he would have kind of started puberty by then, so I don't know. But whatever, I had got to level 39, that's what's important, right? Let's see what's in this present. Double jerky, nice. Always nice to have food. You can't survive without food. Food, glorious food, as Oliver would say. Oh no, we're kind of running out of oxygen. There's a machine right over there. Good. Kiss me. Kiss me, kiss me, let me happy, honey, honey. Blah blah blah, I don't know the lyrics to that song. I forgot the lyrics to that song, oh my oh my oh my. <laughs> Even if though it's by my favorite goose, my old DK. Well, not really. What about this one? It's out of order! Oh no! Ah, uh, Navy Squeal time. Okay, Lucas and Sirius got to level 41. Let's see, what are we at? 14 minutes? I think we'll be fine. More oxygen, please. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Kiss me, kiss me, you know you want to kiss me, or else you'll miss me. Oh, here's another new enemy. Now he's stuck about it from behind. This is a round fish. A round fish. It's so round, this word could not even describe it. We defeated it without even even turning around. Maybe at one point I'll have to show its front sprite or something. But okay, what's inside this present? Couple of life, couple of life noodles. Yay! I'll shuffle around items later. Maybe when we return to the surface. I know we will be returning to the surface sometime soon because we don't have a map, and I don't like wandering around here without a map. Oh, here's a new enemy. Straight out of a B52 song. It's a rock lobster. You only encounter it when everybody has matching towels. And when you wipe under a dock, you see this monster. But anyway, I think this thing is easy to wall staple, so I'm gonna do that. Ah, I shouldn't even try to combo to that music, I know it won't work. Great, it's wall stapled. PK Thunder Beta! Ah. It, and the rock lobster didn't even doing any didn't even do anything. What a gifts. Ooh, that's nice, a giant abalone steak. <laughs> These characters love steak just as much as Ness does. That's Ness's default favorite food in Earthbound is steak. Okay, I think some people could use some life upping now. Like my high now can use it. Who else needs life upping? I don't know. I'll do it to Duster. 
That's serious. Does Lucas need it? Yeah. Okay, there. That should be good. Oh no, we're running out of oxygen! Why am I even worrying about that? I think we're... <laughs> I'm gonna have to return to the surface at some point anyway, so... Yeah, yada yada yada. This kissing takes forever. Why does romance have to take so friggin' long? That's one thing I hate about being in a relationship. Let's fight another round fish. Okay, there we go. There's its front sprite, right there. I had to not combo at all in order to get that front sprite. That's how weak this thing is. Let's wait until this thing... Da, da, da. Okay, maybe I didn't need to do that. Sirius defeated it. Yeah. Fortunately, these enemies are pretty easy. Let's see what's in this ladder. What's in this ladder? Oh, this rock lobster! Yeah. This rock lobster is a bully because it is guarding something. I'm going to use PK Thunder Beta on it just because it's so mean. I don't know, will a siren beetle work on it? I think it will. Yeah! Oh, I almost did a combo. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Neither of those Thunderbolts hit. I think I found their alpha. Ah, I almost did a combo. I think seven hits is like the most I did on that music ever. Well, there we go. But this rock lobster is guarding something important. This thing right here is a hermit crab shell. And Duster got it because Lucas and Raiha's inventories are full, I think. But this becomes important because there is a hermit crab that is being guarded by one of... <sighs> I'm not even talking right. That... That, uh, rock lobster... <sighs> okay, yay, we got trivia card three. Okay, and our oxygen's about to run out. I think let's just return to the surface. See? We don't die at this point, which is what should happen when your oxygen runs out, but instead, we're just going back to the beach. Okay, we're at 19 minutes on, rec on my recording, but I think we have a couple of battles to cut out. So, we just return to the surface, and let's talk to Bronson, because he can restore our health. You should take a break here once in a while. A little lap nap in the sun will really revitalize you, and it'll also give you a tan. Well, not really. These characters apparently don't tan like Bronson does. They also apparently don't burn, either. These characters have magical skin because they can use Psy. Well, actually, that's not true for Duster, but I don't know, how does Duster avoid it? Unless he's sleeping on the, under the umbrella or something, which he wasn't then. Okay, I'm not gonna philosophize too much on this. This is a video game. It's not even supposed to make sense. Okay, this time I want to get the map. I really want to get the map. I think I missed the map somewhere over here. I think it's somewhere over here, right? Okay, let's get more oxygen first. Ah, da 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 da. Kissy, kissy. Lucas and Company under the sea. K I S S I N G. <laughs> All right. Let's see where this friggin' map is. Where's the map? Where's the map? Where's the map? Actually, what's under here? Brown fish. Yikes! Those things could use PK Freeze Beta. That's not good. But let's just see what's in this present. I might have to go to the surface a few times. I keep forgetting where the map is, and I just played this part of the... Okay, there's... We can't hold any more stuff. Let's eat some food, then. That's a perfect opportunity. I didn't sell these meteor types yet. Okay, maybe I should have done that, but... Oh, well. But we got a Virgo bracelet. Now, I wonder who can use that the most. Who needs a new bracelet? We have a Gemini bracelet, a Leo bracelet. Okay, I guess Duster is going to equip it, because he only has a Cancer bracelet. Oops. Oh, you can't even equip the Virgo bracelet? Apparently only Raiha can equip it. Never mind then. That's weird. This is the first time I've ever heard of you only be able to equip a ribbon like that. Uh, I'm not even talking right again. What am I doing? Let's just drop an antidote. I don't think I really need it. Okay. We have too many items! I just give Dust of a double jerky. And so you can get the Virgo bracelet to Raiha. In that case, Raiha, you will have to give your Leo bracelet to Duster. In fact, let's do that. Where's your Leo bracelet? Give that to Duster. Have Duster equip the Leo bracelet. Oh gosh, this is annoying. 
Okay, we're at 22 minutes now. I think if we return to the surface now, then we'll be able to sell some stuff and then end the video. Okay, those round fish are annoying. Okay, we're just gonna have to return to the surface after this. Where the heck is the map? But I think I'll... Ah. Just as I was gonna get some more oxygen, but we're just gonna return to the surface anyway. Eh. We're just gonna wash up on the shore. But anyway, what I want to do right now after we heal... After we heal... <laughs> after I say... Why am I not talking right? Okay, I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna sell some stuff at that, at that, at that marketplace, that shop that Thomas has. So there's a food stand right here, but I'll worry about it later because I want to end the video as quickly as possible here. I can sell some stuff. Da, da, da. Okay, Thomas, we want to sell some stuff at you, boy. We want- we have a couple of Meteotites to sell. See, Meteotites are worth 2,500 DP. That's a lot of money. Do we have anything else to sell? Anything else to sell? I know we have a cancer bracelet to sell. Okay, we're not gonna sell the Hermit Crab shell. That'll become important later on. But yeah, that's it. Okay, so now I think we should end the video now because we're at 25 minutes now, but see you later on part 53 of Let's Play Mother 3.